Welcome to yoga. You won't need anything for your practice today, but before we begin, let's set our intention. Actually, let's let our intention choose us. So I'm going to lay out four intention cards face down. I want you to pick whichever one jumps out to you first. Now let me flip them over. And the card that you chose will be your intention for your practice today. Keep it in your mind or write it down. And when you're ready, let's begin an extended child's pose on our mats. Bring your big toes a touch behind you. Walk your arms out long in front of you. Rest your forehead down onto your mat and let your chest and belly fall towards your mat. With your eyes gently closed, keep your intention in mind and deepen your breath in and out through your nose. From here, slowly rise into a tabletop on your hands and knees, and then for cow pose, drop your belly and lift your chin. Roll open through your heart. Take a big inhale. Exhale, curl your toes under and lift your hips high for downward facing dog, reaching your hips high and back. Press your chest towards your thighs and it's okay to have a little bend in your knees. Come back to cow pose. Lower your knees down to your mat. Drop your belly. Lift your chin. Inhale. Exhale to child's pose. Hips to your heels. Forehead to your mat. As you inhale, rise up into cow pose, drop your belly, lift your chin. As you exhale, down dog, reach your hips high and back. Slow and fluid in your movements, inhale back to cow pose, drop your belly, lift your chin. Exhale, child's pose, hips to your heels, forehead to your mat, keep it going. Cow pose on your inhale. Down dog. As you exhale, cow pose as you inhale, child's pose as you exhale. Two more times on your own, follow the pace of your breath, cow, down dog, cow, child's. And try to be so fluid between your postures that there are no actual pauses in any poses. Just breathing and moving between the poses. And meet me in downward facing dog whenever you get there. From your down dog, lower down into a tabletop on your hands and knees. Then firm up your core and keep your neck in line with your spine. With this engagement, reach your right fingertips forward and your left heel back. Hold. If you feel yourself wobble or tilt, remind yourself to keep your belly pulling in and use the limbs supporting you to push away from the ground. 
breath is calm, face is relaxed. Three, two, one. Come back to your tabletop and switch sides. Left hand reaches forward, right heel reaches back. Firm up through your belly, tighten through your ribs. Neck is in line with your spine, but keep your jaw soft. Three, two, one. Lower back down into your tabletop and set up a side plank with your right hand down, left arm high. Remember, you can modify with your right forearm down. Stack your feet one on top of the other and flex your toes back towards your face. Make sure you're not craning your head forward. Bring your neck in line with your spine. And with your left fingertips reaching up towards the ceiling, lift out of your bottom shoulder. And for an added challenge, lift your top leg up like a star. For three, you've got this. Two, steady. One, gentle release and switch sides. Left arm down, right arm high. Stack your feet one on top of the other, toes flexing back, neck is in line with your spine. Everything is pressing up away from the mat. Reach up through your right fingertips. And if you did on the other side, lift your top leg, resembling a star, for three. Gentle smile on your face. Two, light through your whole body. Stay strong. One, gentle release, and make your way to your downward facing dog. On your next inhale, look up, bend your knees. Exhale, step your feet to touch at the top of your mat. Halfway lift as you breathe in. Forward fold as you breathe out. For chair pose, sit back into your hips. Reach your arms overhead and firm your thighs together. There should be a slight tuck in your pelvis so your abs can do the work so you're not swaying in your lower back. From here, bring your hands together at heart center. Take a big inhale to lengthen your spine, press your heart forward. Exhale, twist to your right. Hook your left elbow outside of your right knee. Keep your hips low. Steady your gaze on one spot and shift your weight into your right foot so you can perch your left foot on tippy toes. From here, with grace, step your left foot to the back of your mat for a revolved crescent lunge. Nice. Now reach your arms overhead for crescent lunge and drive back through your heel as you sink into your right thigh. Feel the weight in your right foot. Now airplane your arms, shift your torso forward, palms facing down behind you, roll your shoulders open, your neck is in line with your spine. You should feel a lot more fire in your right thigh at this point. Well done. From here, open up into reverse triangle. Spin your back heel down, reach your right arm up to the ceiling with both legs straight. Let your left hand just graze your back thigh. Now for a triangle pose. Keep your legs as they are and reach your right fingertips forward, hinging at your hips. When you can go no further, then lower your right hand down and reach your left arm high. And you can always modify by placing your right hand on your shin. And ideally, there's a micro bend in your front knee so you're not resting in a locked joint. To help you remember to do that, the next pose is reverse warrior. So you have to bend your right knee. There you go. And reach your right arm high. 
as you sink into your hips. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, cartwheel both hands down to your mat and step your left foot forward towards the top of your mat in a forward fold. Well done. Find halfway lift, slide your hands up your shins, press your heart forward, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Sit back into your chair pose. Reach your arms overhead. Relax your shoulders, slight tuck in your pelvis so your abs are working, your back is not straining. Bring your hands together at heart center. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist to your left. Hook your right elbow outside of your left knee. Set your gaze on a non-moving spot. Then slowly shift your weight into your left foot as you perch your right foot on tippy toes. Step your right foot back. Landing in revolved crescent lunge. Well done. Then from here, undo your twist, making your way to crescent lunge. Reach your arms overhead. Drive your back heel towards the back of your mat. Sink into your hips so you can feel some fire in your left thigh. Inhale. Exhale to airplane your arms. Shift your torso forward. Roll your shoulders open, palms facing down. Feel the strength in your body. Smooth transitions, find reverse triangle. Spin your back heel down, reach your left arm high, straighten out both legs, tiny micro bend in your left knee. Lengthen through your whole left side body, toe tips to fingertips. Big breath in. As you breathe out, find triangle pose, hinge at your hips, reach your left fingertips forward. And when you can go no further, then lower your left arm down, reach your right arm high. Roll open through your chest. And instead of reaching for the ground, try reaching for the sky. Feeling your whole body lengthen and stretch and roll open instead of caving forward. Remember to maintain a micro bend, a very soft bend in your left knee. Doing so will not only protect your knee, but it'll engage the muscles around your knee. And it'll help you get into the next pose, which is reverse warrior. Deep bend in your left knee, reach your left arm high. Right hand just grazes your back thigh. Big breath in. As you breathe out, cartwheel your hands down to the mat. Step your right foot forward into a forward fold at the top of your mat. Take a moment to pause here. Find your breath. So we can flow slowly. One breath. One movement. And it's okay if you're a half second ahead or behind. Just follow the pace of your breath. So first, exhale everything from your lungs. Long inhale through your nose. Long exhale through your nose. On your inhale, find halfway lift, flat back. As you exhale, forward fold, soft bend in your knees. For a chair pose, inhale as you sit back, heart lifts, arms overhead. Then exhale to bring your hands together at heart center. First, inhale, lengthen your spine, press your heart forward. Exhale, twist to your right for your prayer twist. Inhale to perch your left toes on tippy toes. As you exhale, step your left foot back to the back of your mat. Inhale to crescent lunge, arms reach up overhead. Then exhale to airplane your arms, fingertips, maybe even graze the mat as you do so. 
as you inhale open up into reverse triangle reaching your right arm high back heel spins down both legs are straight slow and fluid make your way to a triangle pose hinge at your hips reach your right fingertips down left arm reaches high and next is reverse warrior inhale as you bend your right knee reach your right arm up to the ceiling exhale cartwheel your hands step your back foot forward into a forward fold at the top of your mat for halfway lift inhale exhale forward fold next is your chair pose inhale as you sit back into your hips arms reach up then exhale hands come together at heart center taking one big inhale to first lengthen press your heart forward and as you exhale twist to your left hook your right elbow outside of your left knee inhaling to perch your right toes on toe tips then exhale step your right foot back towards the back of your mat slow and smooth inhale crescent lunge arms reach up exhale airplane your arms use strength use your fire inhale reverse triangle spin your back heel down reach your left arm high straightening out both legs the next is triangle pose hinge at your hips lower your left arm down right arm high for reverse warrior bend your left knee big breath in reach your left fingertips up then exhale cartwheel both hands down to your mat forward fold meet me in downward facing dog whenever you get there From here, lower your knees down to your mat and come to stand on your knees, setting up for a half camel. So I like to modify this with my toes curled under behind me. Find what works for you, but you want to make sure that your knees are hip distance. That's about two fists distance. And take your hands to your hips and tuck your pelvis under so that your lower back lengthens and your lower abs engage. Begin to lift up through your heart and feel your shoulders roll open. Keep your hips pressing forward the entire time. Then from here, lower your left hand down so your fingertips can rest on your left heel and reach your right hand up, stretching between your fingertips. Keep your breath calm and smooth. Three, two, one. Bring your hands together at heart center. Take a seat on your heels. Big breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Then seal your lips, breathing in and out through your nose. Come to stand on your knees so we can switch sides. First, take your hands to your lower back. Tuck your pelvis under and forward, lengthening out your lower back. Press your hips forward the entire time. Lift up through your heart, roll your shoulders open. Then slowly and mindfully, reach your right arm back so your right fingertips can touch your right heel and reach your left arm up to the ceiling. Gazing up through your left hand, try adding a soft smile to your face. For three, breathe. Two, you got this. One, gentle release. Bring your hands together at heart center and take a seat on your heels. Big inhale through your nose. Open mouth, let it go through your mouth. Seal your lips and make your way to downward facing dog. Well done. See, that was it. And this is your final down dog today. So press your hips high and back. Press your chest towards your thighs. Feel length in your spine and openness through your heart. 
And on your next inhale, look up to your hands, bend your knees. As you exhale, step your feet all the way through, take a seat on your mat. Bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees come open for a butterfly. Give yourself some space today between your hips and your heels, even walking your hips out from behind you. And take your hands to your feet, big inhale to lift up through your chest, lengthen your spine. Then exhale, fold forward, hinge at your hips, relax your shoulders, and let your head hang heavy. And do your best to relax your thighs. There's no need to press or push. Allow your body to soften into place with each deep exhale. Take your time as you slowly rise, pull your knees together and come to lie down on your back for a full wind pose. Just hold your knees to your chest and relax your shoulders. Allow your spine to melt into your mat. Then keep your knees tucked in close and lower both knees down to your left, adding on a gentle twist. And use your breath to create space and release tension. Firm up your core and draw your knees back to center, switching sides. Both knees lower down to your right. Turn your chin to your left. Deepen your breath. Then make your way back to center. Coming back into your full wind pose. Feel free to add a little bit of movement here, rocking in your lower back, or take any other poses that call out to you before we seal off our practice today.
And when you're ready, release your legs and make your way to your final Shavasana. Gently close your eyes. Soften your jaw. And feel a wave of relaxation wash over your body. So your arms and legs become heavy. And if only for a moment, you can completely let go. Exhale everything from your lungs. Take a big inhale through your nose. Open mouth, let it go. One more time, inhale through your nose. Open mouth, let it go. Take your time as you roll over onto one side. And pause here in this tender transition. And when you're ready, press yourself up to seated. And with your hands together at heart center, Rest your mind on your intention once more, the intention that chose you. Then bring a gentle smile to your face and allow yourself to continue to be open to opportunity, new ideas, new perspectives and this new intention. Namaste.